here we have a toitoir toilet conveniently located outside a house that was once owned by Joseph Goebbels. In fact, the house itself wasn't owned by him at all because the house is the, it's just the property where the house now stands. Uh, what happened here, this is Schwannenberger Island, which was a property scheme uh, done uh, at the end of the 19th century. Somebody bought the island and he divided up into plots, set some rules, a fantastic example of a real property development and having worked in this area myself i really admire this um, having said that some of the rules were rather difficult to follow uh, including no businesses and in fact there was no water and it was a long way from berlin it didn't quite get off uh, to the start that it could have got off to but eventually it did and this was a luxurious retreat for many people in business. By the beginning of the 1930s, the majority of the owners here were Jewish and owners of things uh, such as department store owner, there was uh, uh, people in the academic world, uh, medical world, there was um, others as well, <laughs> I'm trying to remember, uh, banking. Um, so, uh, and. Uh, Goebbels uh, actually referred to this as Schweinenwerder rather than Schwanen, swan, as like Schweinen pigs. Uh, anyway, in the 1930s, the Nazis uh, acquired more and more properties here. Goebbels acquired his first property through something which I would consider myself to be financially somewhat dodgy. This was a, a deal offered to him by Max Amann, the Nazi party publishing chief. Uh, then other properties were acquired by Nazis such as uh, Morel Spare. In fact Goebbels acquired the property with the toilet in front of it uh, by forcing the Jewish owners to sell at knockdown prices, not, not realistic prices. Anyway, so I've done more, uh, another video, on, several videos on this subject. If you're interested, several videos on the life of Goebbels. There was even an attempt to uh, assassinate him at the bottom of this hill on the bridge. So if you'd like to know more, then you might want to subscribe uh, to this channel. I upload every Friday at 20 hundred hours Central European time. I'm in Poland and uh, so, uh, well this is in Germany, because I'm in Poland or in Germany. And uh, so, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you will subscribe for to see the full uh, length video on this subject.